What's up, Tech Heart? We're still rocking with Omarki 3.0. The channel has really dug those several Omarchi videos that we've created in the last several days. In the comments, we got one big ask of the channel. The viewers said, give me a Neary like scrolling layout on Hyperland inside of Omarki. I said, what the heck is a scrolling layout? Well, Miri is a scrolling layout window manager, and it's pretty cool. Instead of only using workspaces, your windows open up and they just keep on going. You can open up 40, and then you just scroll. And you can use keybinds to move through them, and it's pretty neat. If you don't know about them, you can search for Miri and I'll learn about it. But today at TechHeart, we're gonna convert our Hyperland into a scrolling layout, and it's gonna be really cool. We'll use plugins, we'll get our configuration files all dialed in, and we're gonna do it. Hey, listen, the channel's been blowing up, but if you're not subscribed, please, just give us one. It only takes you a minute. Hit the bell, then you'll always know when we drop videos. But we're gonna dive on into some Omarchi customization in the next few videos, and we're gonna start right here with scrolling layouts. Let's go to the moon, Alice. Okay guys, we're all booted in. We have our Omarki laptop waiting and ready to go. But let's open up a web browser. We are going to talk about Hyperland plugins. There's a website you can go to, I'll put it on screen. It's at hyperland slash plugins. And listed here are a bunch of different plugins that we can use. Hyperbars, i3 sway like layout, touch gestures. Ooh, maybe we'll look at that one in the future, touch gestures. Remember we turned on the uh, touchpad and that's cool. We might want to look at that. If we scroll down a little bit, and we'll go to the layout section right here. Uh, we can see one called hyper scrolling. And we're gonna talk about that in a minute. I have it pulled up right over here. But before we do, let's open the Hyperland Wiki on using plugin. There's a couple disclaimers. Plugins are written in C++ and will run as a part of Hyperland. Okay. Make sure to always read the source code of the plugins you're going to use and to trust the source. That's important. I've already reviewed hyper scrolling and tested it, but that's something to say. Uh, these plugins are made by other users, you and me, so make sure they're not blowing up your system, baby. Writing a plugin to wipe your computer is easy. Nice, maybe we should create one. Never trust a random .so file you receive from other people, like TechHeart, doggy. Uh, so getting plugins, plugins come as shared objects, AKA SO files. Hyperland does not have any default plugins, so any plugin you may want to use, you will have to find yourself. Okay, installing and using plugins, it's highly recommended that you use the Hyperin plugin manager, HyperPM. We'll talk about that in a minute. If we're using permission management, which on our stock Omarki install we're not, you might have to add this line into your hyperland.comp files, but we don't need that. And we're gonna cover this here in a minute, so I'm not gonna pay too much attention to it. Let's go over and look at hyper scrolling. This is where the magic Neary's at. We're gonna make our Omarchi Hyperland setup a scrolling layout by using the hyper scrolling Hyperland plugin. It's not like uber recent, but they are developing it and it works. And the, uh, the last fix was two hours and two weeks ago, but that's not on any code. The oldest one's around six months. So hopefully they're making point updates as Hyperland updates, but that will be an issue. If that's something on your mind, if this project just stops and Hyperland makes some breaking changes, we could run into issues. Hyper scrolling adds a scrolling layout to Hyperland. This plugin is a work in progress. There was an older one. I think it was called Hyper Scroller, but it was archived. So this is the current one. And down here, it tells us how we can config this sucker. I'm gonna show you my config that I created, but it, here it gives you all the options that you can do. And we'll dive into this a little later. We'll come back here and we'll see different things we can do, different keybinds we can utilize. But for now, let's try to get this sucker installed. I'm gonna scroll this back up here so that we can come right back to the config at a later time. I'm gonna to go to my full capture. Boom. 
Here we are in our Omarki setup. We can open up a terminal and let me make this a little bit bigger for you. And first, let's make sure our system is up to date. We'll run a yay and give it our super secret password and make sure your system is up to date. Now let's see if we have Hyperlint plugins installed. We'll run a hyper pm command to see if it's installed. And it is. So we have Hyperlint plugin manager ready to go. First, we need to do a hyper pm update. And we notice that we need some dependencies. No problemo. We'll run a yay dash s on CMake, Mason, CPIO, PKG dash config, git, G++, and GCC. Some of these might not be the correct names for these packages, but we'll find out by running that. Okay, let's install everything. Go, 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 go. Now I don't know if we got all of it, but we can find out by running that hyper PM update again. Okay, we're cloning stuff. Let's let it go. Okay, that looks like it did the deal. Now we're gonna run a hyper PM add HTTPS on github.com slash hyper WM slash hyperlind dash plugins. This should pull in all of the hyperlind plugins repos that we might want to install. Let's see if it works, baby. Okay, they have no guarantee of stability, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure, let's go living on the edge. Okay, there's hyper scrolling right there, I see it. See that? And all the other ones. Let's hope this finishes up, tech heart. Whoa. Okay, we can now enable the plugins with hyper PM enable. We'll do a hyper PM enable hyper scrolling. Oops, we need to add that R. Give it a password and enabling hyper scrolling, ensuring plugin load state. It's all loaded. So now we have a scrolling layout, right? Wrong. Before our hyper scrolling layout will work, we have to modify our configuration. So we can go into config slash hyper and let's, uh, well, vim or nano, whatever editor you use, hyperland.conf. Now, Omarchi doesn't really use this hyperland.conf like we normally do in Hyperland. It just sources all of these other .conf files. So I think we should go along with that theme. We're Omarchi users. So I'll make another commented out hash line and I'll say this is for hyper scrolling. And here I'll type source equals till.config slash hyper slash hyper scrolling dot conf. Now what that does is when we boot into Hyperland or when we reload our Hyperland config with hyperctl reload, it will also source hyperscrolling.conf. We don't have a hyperscrolling.com. So we can edit hyperscrolling.com. We'll create it right there. Funnily enough, we can see our error up here. Hyperland is complaining that there is no hyperscrolling.com. So we're gonna fix that, don't worry. Now I'm gonna use a little trick here. I'm gonna open up local send, which is a part of Omarchi. Oh God, where's dark mode? Get the heck out of here. Thank you. And from my other computer, I'm gonna cheat and send over a hyperscrolling configuration. Okay, right here we have it. So I'll copy that. I can close local send and I'm gonna paste that setup. Local send is a really cool app and Omarchi uses it on default. And I think you should too. You can send from any system, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, local send everywhere. Send files, send text, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna move up here. And again, this is in hyperscrolling.conf in our .config slash hyper folder. And it's all of our hyperscrolling configuration. Main mod is super just like Omarchi uses. We're gonna do an exec once hyper PM reload dash N. That means anytime that Hyperland boots or reloads, we will load our plugins, which loads our hyper scrolling plugin. Okay, general layout is scrolling. We're gonna change our layout to scrolling. 
And then down here, we have all the hyper-scrolling options. I'll kind of go over it a little bit. If I switch back, that's all of these different config stuff we can learn about in the hyper-scrolling GitHub. My setup is column width 0.7. So it's about like, you know, 75% of the screen. We can change that. I have full screen on one column equals true. That means if we open up one window, it'll be full screen and not 0.7 column width. Uh, I like it that way. Then explicit column widths. Uh, these are the different widths for our windows that we can cycle through. There's one that's really skinny. There's one that's half of the screen. There's one that's three thirds of the screen. And there's one that's three tenths of the screen. And there's one that's full screen. When focusing center or fit, I have it set to fit. Center might be cooler, but we can play with that later. Follow focus. If you use your mouse and move your mouse to a different window, we'll focus on that window. And then we have our key binds. Let's go down here. Ooh, I think I can already see an issue, by the way. I believe that Omarchi has a key bind for main mod comma. We can test that real quick because we have not saved this file. Let's do a super comma. Maybe it's not that. It's one of them, though. We'll see here in a minute when we save, when we save this file. One of these key binds overlaps with Omarchi, and we'll have to make a change. At any rate, our key bindings are super period and comma. That'll move us left and right through our windows. Made mod shift. I think that moves windows left or right, like we can move them and up and down. Oh, here's one that I, I notated. See over here? This is the file browser also. Uh, this is a, a key bind for toggle fit. I don't know what that does. And these are advanced user extras. Let's save this. And then we can do hyper CTL reload. And now, you see how that went to full screen? Let's open up a couple new windows. So just to break it up, I'm gonna open up a browser and then I'll open up a terminal and another browser. You notice how this is going? Now I'm gonna do super comma. Look at that. We are on a scrolling layout. Gangster dough. You know, I kind of wish. So right now on our desktop, we have window open. Uh, I'm left and right backed up. We have a window opens and then another window opens, another, or you know, this way, another, another, another. I wish it went up and down too. Wouldn't that be cool? Instead of just this way, if it went up and down. But anyway, so super comma and super period moves left and right through our various windows. Let's do this. I'm going to do a cat on hyperscrolling.com. Our key binds are super period and comma, which is this super period period, comma, comma. Let's do super shift period. Oh yeah, that switches it. I thought it would just go left and right there. Also, you can just use left and right. So if I do super left and right, same thing as period, comma. And now let's do super shift right and it switches them. Pretty cool. Now if I do super F, it's gonna open up a file browser right now, but let's do it anyway. It's a layout message toggle fit. So let's do super F. Yeah, so it opens up that. We're gonna have to change that or edit it. Super P to promote. Okay, so if we promote, it doesn't turn into a floating, but it's promoting this window. Let's do super R, that's column resize. Okay, I don't know if I like that, but it changes through the various sizes we have set. Okay, I'm learning this with you guys. And then we have made mod control period. That's swap column R, made mod control period. Yeah, I don't know what that does. Oh, and that's the one too. Main mod control comma is already used by Omarchi. So we'd have to mess with that. Made mod alt period or comma. Oh, that moves it to a new workspace. Uh, so did you see how we moved from one to two? So now on two, we don't have any more Windows, main mod, alt, moves the workspace. That's neat. So we don't need all of these binds, but do you guys like this scrolling layout? I mean, I guess I do, I do. You know, let's do this. I'm gonna close all these down. Uh, we're on workspace one, I'm gonna close everything down. Beep, workspace one. We'll open up a terminal, a browser, something else, one password's fine, something else. Chat GPT is fine. And now we can do super comma or super left, either one. 
and that scrolls left and right. Okay, nice. I'm going to cat hyper scroller dot conf. Oops, I have to move into it because I opened a new thing. Hyper scrolling. Sorry, guys. So we don't need all of these. These were just like all of the different uh, key binds that I added. Note that on one of these, we have an overlap in the hyperlin setup. So we're going to need to change this, but I don't need all of this stuff. Basically, all we need are these two, period and comma, which is also super left and right. That moves us. And the different ones do different stuff. Let's go over to the hyper scrolling website and we can go down here, layout, no, 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 yeah, layout messages. These are all the different um, things we had here, I believe. In the actual hyper scrolling GitHub, they just suggest using these examples. So main mod period and comma and the main mod shifts for left, right, up, down. That's probably all I needed too. I'm gonna go back here. So all we really needed was this. These are extras. I'm going to go in and edit hyper scrolling. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to hash out all of these. Now, these are ones we can play with later, but for me, this will get me going in hyper scrolling. If you'd like to use these advanced features, you might have to change the key binds because a couple of them overlap with Omarchi. But right now, if we save this, now all we have is super period and comma and super shift period comma up down. And also, instead of period comma, you can just use left, right. So I have super left, right. I have super shift left and that switches it right and up down if I had windows open on up down. So for me, that's kind of really all I need. You do have a lot more options available to you on the GitHub if you want to play around with it. We're rocking. Dude, I've never used a scrolling layout before. I like this thing. Oh, another one that I did like is I like the uh, super alt or control, whichever it was that it moved it to a different workspace. I might want that super alt. Let's go in here. I might like these. I'm going to X these out or uncomment them. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that because for super alt period, that'll move that to workspace two. I do want that. Now, if I just go back to super one for workspace one, that terminal's gone. You can still do super left and right. If I go to super two, there's that thing I moved. But if I do super alt comma, that brings that back to workspace one. And now with super shift comma, I can move that all the way back over here to where it was. And for me, that's all I need, dog. Did we make a Neary like scrolling layout in Omarchi? I think we did. And I think we can dig a little deeper if we want to. You guys, do we still love Omarchi? I do, you do, let's go! Tech Heart is out! Go, go, go.